Hello, in this video we will see some demos as well as we will understand all the sections of SOLIDWORKS in brief. As it's clear that work in every CAD software begins from sketching. So let us first understand how sketching in SOLIDWORKS is actually done. Then you either select one of the three planes, front, top and right as displayed in the right side figure. In so the window, says, you can either use click the sketch, sketch or entity to tool understand the coordinates the sketch of the sketch or click sketch button on the sketch toolbar or click sketch entity and tool. Sketch. Or select a tool on the sketch toolbar and create a sketch. To create object seen in below figure, sketch front view of object on front plane. To select on which plane your sketch then you should be created. The sketch entities. Then the sketch For origin constraint is displayed in red. Now moving ahead. In many cases, you can provide the same result by creating a solid modeling feature with a complex profile or a feature with a simpler profile and some additional solid modeling features on top of it. So in this image it's very clear that there are two ways to create this object. One is to directly create this sketch with the final shape and then extrude it for making it a 3D model or else create a basic sketch then extrude that shape and finally give some solid modeling operations and get the final shape generated using features like fillets and all. In short, we have understood the skeleton of your CAD model that is the sketching operations. Hence moving ahead towards the part modeling features. Features are the individual shapes that when combined make up the part. You can also add some parts of features to assemblies. Features include multi-body part capabilities. You can include separate extrude, revolve, loft or sweep features within the same part document. As these examples are shown here. and even multi-body features. So using sketch you draw a simple 2D figure then you generate a 3D object from it then do some 3D feature operations on top of that object and finally develop the part that you require. So this is how in SOLIDWORKS you can create your final products. Now talking about surface modeling created overview. using boss and cut features, editing features. Surfaces are a type of geometry that can be used to create solid features. Surface tools are available on the surface toolbar. So that's understanding it in details. Here we are not considering the volume zone inside the surfaces, which we usually call it as thickness or solid zone whatsoever. But in this part of SOLIDWORKS, we are interested in creating the surface with full accuracy. The shape of the surface is of more importance than the volume inside that shape. So we are not creating any body with thickness or with solid volume inside it, but we are interested in this outer surface of that body. As you can see the examples are clearly explaining that we are not creating any closed body 
with some volume entrapped inside it but we are interested in creating this smooth bends on the surfaces you can create surfaces by the following methods insert a planar surface from a sketch or from a set of closed edges that lie on a plane extrude revolve sweep or loft from sketches offset from existing faces or surfaces either import a file create mid surfaces radiate surfaces or create boundary surfaces so these are various ways using which you can create surfaces you can modify surfaces in the following ways like extend trim existing surfaces untrim surfaces fillet surfaces repair surfaces using fillet operation move copy surfaces delete and patch a face or knit surfaces now let's talk about the use of surfaces select a surface edge and a vertex to use as a sweep guide curve and path create a solid or cut feature by thickening a surface so just extrude that surface with some thickness and you will get a solid part extrude a solid or cut feature with the end condition up to surface or offset from surface create a solid feature by thickening surfaces that have been knit into a closed volume replace a face with a surface so in this way you can actually create solid parts by just creating surfaces and closing them wholly in this video we are going to create the sketches for the very same geometry that we saw in the slide so for doing that i am actually creating the curves that are necessary in order to generate the shape now i am trying to give some dimensions to the sketch that i have just created the one thing that you can notice here is that i have not drawn the curves into its correct dimensions i have drawn them randomly and then i have just created the dimension lines to them and now i'll try to give some relations to these curves and also modify the dimensions as required here i am selecting the bottom two curves and letting them be equal in size you must have noticed that both the lines became of equal length similarly i'll try to define relations to many of the curves that i need to be equal in length so after assigning the left hand side horizontal lines of equal length it tried to show me that there is some conflict with the dimensions maybe the conflict is because i have already defined them to be of some length based on the dimensional lines and then i am trying to make them equal also so let's go ahead and see what can be done in my case it is obvious that i will just delete the extra dimension line which need not to be there so the moment i delete the extra dimension line the relations that i had previously set was obeyed now moving ahead i'm again giving relation of equal to left hand side bottom and top vertical lines again there a conflict came into picture so by deleting the extra dimension line we got rid of the error now it is clearly visible that the right hand vertical line at the bottom is of 0.01 unit and the left hand vertical bottom line and the top left vertical line are of the same length that is 0.01 units so only giving one dimension line and three relations we easily got the required object into our final shape So now I am trying to modify the dimension size by this left hand menu. Similarly, I am doing the same for this line also. 
Now I'll give some more relations which were left out last time. So by giving this dimension now you will be able to see by just changing the right side length the left side length is also changed accordingly as they are connected to each other with the relation. Same way I will try to give relation to these two vertical edges also. Again the extra dimension line is creating a problem so I just delete it. And finally we have created the complete figure with just three dimension lines and rest all relations. So I have created the figure. Now it's time to extrude the figure into a 3D part. In order to do that, we will go for extrude, select a edge and then pull the arrow to define the length of extrusion and here we get a solid block of the part that we are interested in creating. Now we will perform some of the solid modeling feature operations to give the part the final shape. Like here I just created a fillet of 0 0.02 units. I am actually changing it again to 0 0.01 to show you that it can be modified any number of times. Similarly, I will try to give fillets to all other corners. So we are almost done with two edges left. Hence we have obtained the final shape by just creating a simple sketch, extruding it and finally performing some of the filleting operations. So it will be clear that how easily one can create solid parts using solid box and how easily the parts can be modified into different new parts or else how easily they can be changed later on.